Hey guys, the Lord here, back again with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Armor Skeletor, <laughs> Tongue Shore, and Mini Comic Roboto. Brought to us by the fine folks over at, say it with me now, Metalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
will say, watch out for these little tassels on his snake armor. They have a tendency to pop out, at least on the one side. For, for me! Anyways. He does have uh, forward and back in the hip as well. Single jointed knee. Wow, I should have tested this guy before I... Alright, the single jointed knee does not want to work right now. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, that's a tight son of a monkey. And once you get them working, they're fine. He does also have a swivel down there. He's got a swivel in the calf. With a hinge in the foot. With a hinge in the foot. Wow. <laughs> there you go. The hinge in the foot. And a rocker joint. Talk about tight, man. Makes that Cosmic Legion's figure I did a review on last week look like a big fat joke. What the heck? Let's say, can I get this knee to bend on the camera? Yeah, there we go. Usually I heat the knees when they don't move, but I know these guys, this guy's moved out of package. I forget if I heated them, but usually after you heat them once, they're good. So let's get this shield on. Same thing as always, you gotta kind of bend the hand in, then you gotta warp all the fingers in there. That's not hard to do, and then it clips onto the arm. Like that. And it's pretty sturdy. I will say, I did have it tighter before I did this video. Let's see if I can get it on there better. Let's see if I, let's see if I got the... If I got the touch or the power, like the 1987 Transformers movie soundtrack, and get this on there. There we go. That's that's on there. There. Good. Ready to rock now. That ain't going nowhere. It's got a little bobble to it, but I guess it's not that bad. Wow. It, it actually kind of flexes. Let me make sure I didn't mess up this hand, this clip. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's weird. I got it on there, but it doesn't want to stay where I had it. Sometimes clips, I just wish they uh, wrapped over the arm. You know, like you took the hand off and then you shoved the shield on and that was it. Maybe it was like Origins where you did it another way. Yeah. It seems to be alright there. Bend his arm down. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I remember it being tighter, but I did unclip it to uh, do this review. And we'll give him his weird kitchen utensil weapon there. And there's Snake Ama Skeletor. Shout out to uh, Toy Stalker. Look up on that. That was the only place I could get him uh, after a while. So I picked him up on there when I ordered the Gargoyles. I looked at, what, two months ago now? It's been a hot minute since I uh, reviewed Lexington, Elisa, and Xanatos. I mean, seriously. Moving on from him, though, we got Tongue Lashore. Old tongue lasso. Um, one of the main snake men. And one of the few snake men I have the vintage figure for. I actually have him, Ratlore, and Cobra Khan. But uh, they're all in storage. I did find them the other day. Going through my uh, closet of doom. But I wasn't looking for those. And what I was looking for wasn't there. So I was so PO'd. I didn't bother to take them out for comparison. So I guess that's on me. But uh, in the way of his accessories, he comes with... Whatever the Sam Heck this is supposed to be. I know it's a crossbow, but it's a dragonfly crossbow. Alright. I wonder how effective that's going to be. And he also comes with a snake staff, which also had freaking schmutz right there. And you can see it's a little bowed on mine. That's because I wedged his little fingers in there, so he wouldn't drop the darn thing. And last but not least, he comes with the best accessory ever, a tongue. Because of that friggin' tongue that just slots into his mouth. 
like so. There you go. It just kind of hangs down, which I don't mind. I think that's fine. And like Snake Face, I actually like the fact that this accessory adds a bit to him, but doesn't uh, take up a lot of real estate. That said, if you wanted to, you could do that and make it look like he's slapping someone across the face with his tongue. Like a real look in the snake here, rat lore. It's like, screw you, you snake. Um, yeah, look, this is a snake. Take that out of there for a minute. This is a frog. Snake, frog. Snake, frog. Snake, frog! Um, either way. It's just uh, kind of weird that uh, they call him a snake man. He's more of a frog. Or a salamander, I guess. He does have some skills on his back here. Particularly on the back of the head and the torso. The arms appear to be uh, just regular Motu arms with the glove sculpt there. Same with the legs. He does have like regular calves, which we don't see very often. Like calves with nothing on them. I think other than this guy, the only one I know who's got this going on is the John Cena from the Grayskull ring for the uh, Masters of WWE Turnia line. Which I do have somewhere, but I don't remember where I put him. But uh, there you go. That's Tongue Lasher in a nutshell for you. He's got the snake symbol on his chest. And even though he's not a freaking snake, he's more of a frog, salamander, lizard thing. I, I do like this character quite a bit. I thought the 2000X one looked friggin' rad. But uh, as far as the snake staff goes, I'm going to try and get this on on camera. But uh, what I do is I like to take his little, his little ball fingers and kind of warp them into the, uh, the snake staff here. Which can be easier said than done, honestly. You may have to pop his hand off to do it. But uh, it can be done. It's a feat I have made before. And we are going to do it. Even if it kills me. So I'm going to set him there. Pop his hand off. So uh, while I struggle to do this. Uh, anyone see any good movies lately? I know the Marvels came out recently. But uh, I could really give a crap about most of those characters. Wow, this is really hard. I ain't even worried about breaking this, but... Gee whiz. I remember this being easier before. But it has been a while since I've done this, so I can't remember how I did it to get it in there. So that it stayed in there. All I know is that I got the two fingers in there little ball thingies on the end and it freaking worked and now it doesn't want to wow making me look like a chump on camera as always because I can't remember how I got the stinking thing in there this son of a monkey. Alright, I might have to give up on this, guys. I apologize. This friggin' sucks. I don't know. Ah! Got it. I just heard it pop in. I was just being a wuss. Alright. There you go. There's the snake staff with the hand on it. And a runny nose. It's freaking cold where I'm at, man. Give me a break. Working in these harsh conditions here. And of course, my house is heated because it has to be. There you go. So his staff is going nowhere. This lousy crossbow, on the other hand. Eh, get it? It's going to be on the other hand. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. I made it funny. Uh, I don't really know how this goes. I do this, but that doesn't really work. Uh, another way to put it on is like this. maybe but that also doesn't really work so the crossbow kind of just sucks um doesn't really work 
at all. So I just do that. It stays in for the most part. It is a loose fit, but it does stay. So putting him back here. I'm gonna bring out Mini Comics Roboto. Whose character I did not have a lot of good experiences with the first time around in the Origins line. That said, this guy, no wiggly waist, and his gimmick works pretty well. So basically what you're supposed to do with Roboto, turn his waist, you can see his gears moving in there and his jaw chomping and him being a robot. So that's cool. And of course, like the previous version, he's got the gun and the axe hand to swap out with his little pincer claw here, just like this. So he can uh, go chop up some punk arse that's uh, causing trouble in Eternia, you know? And just for kicks and giggles, we'll do the gun too. So I think that's what everyone prefers. They'd rather shoot first, ask questions later. Which in some cases is justified, but a lot of times it's not. There you go. And I will say, he's got pretty tight joints too. So there he is with the gun. This one has uh, some orangish colored arms and legs. And then he's got the big silver heart sticker on his torso there. Makes him a little bit different from this guy, who, as you can see, does not have a floppy waist. But his gimmick, unfortunately, wasn't as smooth as this guy's, the mini-comic ones. It works fine now, because I put a little bit of my uh, special soap in him to kind of loosen things up. But when I first got this guy, uh, oh, when I first first got this guy... Let's, let's backtrack a ways to uh, 2021, was it? When the first one came out, the waist peg was loose. And that was the main issue with it. That and the fact that I kind of effed mine's gimmick up. So, yeah, that's half my fault. Half the crotch on mine sucked. Fast forward to this year, I get one of these reissued Robatos to have a good one. And the gimmick doesn't really work well on him at all. It, like, cracks and gets stuck and whatnot. So, BBTS being BBTS, they hook up a replacement figure. I get it. It has the same issue, but not as bad. I put a little soap in there, and now it works okay. But, dang it, all to heck, man. These Roboto figures, not this one. These, like, retro-looking ones. Pain right in my balls. I don't know what is up with that, but... The mini-comic one was fine. So I guess that's what matters, right? That's the focus of this review. If you're going to take away anything, it's that Mini Comics Roboto is fine. So putting him here, I can without knocking the stupid crossbow out of Tongue Lasher's hand there. That's your lot for this wave. A pretty decent wave, if we don't count the Sun Man dork. But of course, we need to bring in a Brother Mendibilith. Who's off screen. As well as Spawn. Who's also off screen. Because it wouldn't be one of my videos without him. Seriously, can I move these guys over a little bit? Not really. There. You see Spawn's gauntlet, I think. So, uh, yeah. Wouldn't be one of my videos without these two. But, yeah, as you can see, they're clearly not in scale. Or even on screen. So, uh... With that being said, before this gets any worse than it already has, it's time to wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and compared to the wave I took a look at yesterday, I'm not sure if this one is that much better. I mean, the mini-comic Roboto, while cool, and while I tend to lean more towards that aesthetic, it's not my preferred version of that character. I still like the OG Roboto more than that one. If... It was more like the case of Manny Faces, where I did prefer the mini-comic version over the original, or the more standard look for the character. Maybe I would say this wave was a little better, because I definitely like Snake Armor Skeletor 
more than Snake Armor He-Man. And I gotta be honest with you, even though he's not a freaking snake, I think Tongue Lasher is one of the better snake men in this line. Again, he's more of a frog, salamander, lizard thing, but I don't know, still fun. But that crossbow is a pain in the butt though, so I guess it's up to personal preference. Personally, if they had stuck Rattlor in this wave, even though I do have issues with that figure as well, we'll see the stumpiness and the overall derpiness of him, I think this would have been the better wave, but I think Mini Comics Roboto was just holding it back ever so slightly. But I will say, I think the Sunman guy in the last wave was better than the one in this wave. Is it Hypno? It looks like a Hindu version of the Lollipop Guild from the Wizard of Oz, if you ask me, but uh, that's just my opinion. Or, you know, there is the infamous Duplico, who I have picked up for a couple of people now, because my Walmart, surprisingly, got that figure more than once so uh try to figure that one out the only other white guy in sun man lore by the way not sure how i feel about that but uh at the end of the day when it comes to sun man stuff outside of the two main characters sun man and pighead i don't really give a crap so it's not my place to say whether or not that's good or bad i guess of course it is this is my channel my video i think it sucks so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this review and until next time I'll catch you guys later.